nbc wall street journal poll shows that forty two percent say that this one hundred and twelfth congress is one of the worst in the two hundred and twenty two year history of the country. thirty three percent rate the congress as below average. ah mark, in your article for the daily beast, you lay out your plan to fix congress. the biggest problem with congress is not the people it's outdated rules, procedures and traditions that govern the institution and make it impossible for anything to get done. congress has become a place where even good, talented people get dragged down by a broken system but if we change the rules of congress, we can really make our government work again. if the next congress finds rules from the last congress to be outdated or unproductive, members can team up and start over, which is exactly what they ought to do. And, and let me start, this is uh, No Labels Has, again, this book, and let me start with actually this is something Huntsman's saying. Mm -hmm. you, 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 don't, yeah. you, don't get your, you don't get your salary, Congress, unless you give us a budget, unless you balance well, the budget. Well, uh, but budget drives everything. Budget creates policy, right? And, Absolutely. And, and, and people in everyday life, if you don't do your job, you don't get paid. So why should Congress? So this is a hammer to force Congress to do what everybody else in America does, which is show up and do your job. You have and people you who actually are doing their jobs get not getting paid. paid. So, I mean, yeah. that's exactly right. And I want to go to number These two. This cool. is something that Meek has been talking about. Uh, for the past week. Um, up or down vote on presidential appointments. That's not yeah. happening. You've got a lot of presidential appointments being killed now by the Republican Senate, and Democratic Senates do it to Republican Just presidents. And the ambassador too. to El Salvador, who has been there for a year performing right? well, well and, crazy. And, and, and just knocked crazy. Out. It's up or down in 90 days. I was appointed to the broadcast board of governors by President Bush. For four years, I couldn't get confirmed and finally just left. That's ridiculous. So, I mean, whether you're Republican or Democrat, you got to give, you got to fill the jobs and give, give the team a chance. And you and you not, the federal government not even have jobs. And the Democrats filibustered you for four years, despite the fact you <laughs> wear a scarf. That's right. <laughs> Number three. Well, uh, you know, this is boy. You've got a lot limits. of people that would love this in the middle. Filibuster reform. Talk about mm. it. Well, I, you know, I kind of defer to Harold on this one. Uh, if you're going to filibuster something, you ought to have to be on the floor and actually filibuster, right, Harold? As someone who never filibustered, I would agree with you. I <laughs> think there's any doubt the rules I should be like changed. I feel like I'm sometimes the victim of a filibuster. <laughs> but I think the most powerful one is a no budget, no pay. I that, love that. that. Resonates mm. with Joe and I could appreciate that. I mean, we were not the obstruct is here, but we understand Congress, there are people in America who go to work every day whose salaries are being cut. And for Congress, I serve there, Joe served there, I respect Republicans and Democrats there, like many of them. If you can't get a budget done, you shouldn't get paid. Exactly. Can I just say, Simply. I may love this idea the best. I want uh, I want the Prime Minister's hour before Parliament every week in America. I love this idea. <laughs> Talk about it. Don't you think? Well, it's, it's like they do in Britain. You get the president or, and or members of the cabinet on a once a month basis, something like that, come before the Congress, come before the Senate, and have an exchange of ideas. Let the American people see, and if you're going to try and be obstructionist, let everybody see it in full view. And I, I think that this would actually have a very productive... That would be fantastic. Uh, we, we, we need, like if they we, sent Joe Biden down. We need, yeah. to, no. oh. <laughs> we need to import, though, the, the, the Speaker of the, the Parliament to go, yes. order, yeah. order. I love this. Now, we had, we pushed a lot of people to do this after the Gabby Gifford shooting, mm -hmm. and it was one of the better behaved Congresses at a State of the Union address. Bipartisan seating. Talk about it. Well, it's much easier to demonize people if you don't know them or you never talk to them. So this is a simple step and, and one which was done at the last day of the Union for the first time and I don't know how or maybe ever. Uh, but but it, it, it's just, if you get to know the members of Congress, Evan Bai, who was uh, at our uh, at this press conference yesterday to announce these reforms said I think that he was in the Senate for 14 years and three times it had meetings with members of the other party that was just stunning mm -hmm. and I don't think members now meet literally don't meet with members of the other party at all there used to be caucuses there used to be monthly lunches so there's a series of steps here that would encourage and inf and and what well, would encourage members of the opposite party to meet on a regular basis with okay. each other so they at least know let, before let they try say, and tear them down one final thing now, Harold, going to do Harold and I worked in Congress uh, for for quite some time and we're deeply offended at this uh -oh. Uh -oh. make members come to work uh -oh. what are you talking about pretty 
radical. Show Joe. up. This is one of the real radicals. You're going. Things. You're getting out of bounds now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, it, we're pushing a, the limit it's here. It's a great Woody Allen line. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you know, it, it was amazing. But like during the debt ceiling debate, we actually tracked how often members were actually at work or showing up to work during this critical time when c consumer confidence dropped 20 points. Not because of the outcome of the day, debate, because of the nature of the debate and how partisan it was. And they and Americans looked and said, "This is the most important thing that can happen right now in Congress." And people mm -hmm. weren't even showing up to work. So this would just say, all you've got to do is show up three out of four weeks. You know, you still get a week to go back to your district, but come and show up to work at least three out of four weeks. I don't know. You're a little unreasonable, Mark. I just want to. <laughs> all right.